Howdy and a big welcome back to Yaks to Gaming, everybody. As once more, we're going to pick up our Toronto Blue Jays franchise mode here in MLB 15 the show. So as you see, we are going to go into May here, and we'll finish up April. And looks like the Cubs have an offer for us. Kyle Hendricks for Michael Saunders. Definitely a no-go there. And let's keep going. As a win, 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 loss, loss, win, win, loss. Come on. Loss. Damn. 14 to 11 we are. One game back of the division leading Baltimore Orioles, so not doing too bad. And it looks like Roberto Asuna is doing awesome down in AAA. And good little Brock Cronin. Roger Bernardina is awesome. Wilson Machado is swinging awesomely in AA. And Dennis Clam and all them are struggling. So let's take a look at our lineups. Looks like Mike Johnson has got 10 RBI in the leadoff spot. Jose Reyes has 9 RBI. And look at Edwin Encarnacion, 9 home run, 25 RBI. Hunter and Fro improving to a 286 average. Jose, or Devin Travis, 230 average. Russell Martin, 1 home run and 5 RBI. And looks like Rusny Castillo has 2 home runs and 8 RBI. And looks like... Michael Saunders and Matt Carpenter, 373 average. What is going on there? That is ridiculous. That is incredible for him. So let's jump ahead into our next game here against Boston. Against Mike Miner. Let's see here. Second in the IL. We are tied with them. So let's see what we can do here. We will play our lock as Hunter and Fro, I think, would be the smart idea here. As Gary Sanchez gets a chance to bat, if I'm not mistaken, yes he does. Perfect. So let's get right into it here. As we are leading 4th in stolen bases, 8th in RBIs. So we have a top 10 offense, that's pretty good. And our pitching is about top 20. So our pitching is what's lagging behind. Our ERA kind of sucks, so we need to pound on the runs against Boston and lay back against allowing runs against Boston in this game here. So we are going to jump ahead to our first game and Dustin Pedroia will be our first chance at note here in the outfield for Hunter Renfro. And here comes the pitch. This one's going to get through the gap and Pedro Mookie Betts is going to stop there because look at that throw from Renfro just a bullet into Micah Johnson who couldn't handle it over there at third base and looks like it'll be Hunter Renfro with a chance to bat with two on one out here in the bottom half of the first. Can he leave the yard? That would be a pretty neat little trick. Oh and he's too late on the fastball looking for that and just could not get a hold of it. Come on Renfro. Oh, and he goes after the slider. Bad swings there. And Renfro really needs to show some discipline in this at bat. And he swings on the knuckle curve and strikes out. So Renfro goes down swinging. But Russell Martin picks his man up and comes up with that clutch RBI single. And it looks like the Blue Jays and the Red Sox are tied 1 1 into the bottom of the fourth. And Renfro really cannot catch that. Fastball, that is just moving too quick at 90 miles an hour for him. Here comes another pitch. And that fastball in there, that didn't even look like it was close to going in for a strike. Hmm. Renfro having difficulty. But Renfro now gets a hold of one. This one's back, 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 back. Leave the yard, Hunter Renfro. Second at bat after that strikeout. And he jumps yard for a home run to give the Blue Jays the lead. And that'll be where they stand, top of the sixth. One, or nobody out, one run in for the Boston Red Sox as Aaron Sanchez is still on the mound. And the Blue Jays are winning this one. And Renfro easily catches that one. A little bit of focus required there as it was shifting all over the place. But look at this. Hunter Renfro's got another runner, this time on second base. He's going to try and leave yard again. So that's what he's built for is the home run power. Oh, and that one. He dedicated to swinging at that when it left the hand. Didn't even look to see where it was going. Here comes.
comes another pitch. Oh, and he's good on the slider. Just could not get a hold of it into fair territory. That could have been a nice little double or something right there. Here comes another pitch, the third pitch of the at-bat. And Renfro hammers this one down the line. A foul on the knuckle curve. He was just a little bit too early on it. Got it a little bit higher in the zone than it would have been, but still. And this is going to be muscled out there into center field. But that's an easy, lazy fly ball, and the runner's going to tag. Nope. Renfro can't get anything done. And that will not advance the cause there as Russell Martin grounds out. And now this has got to come up clutch. Hunter and Fro, a 2-2 game. Bottom of the eighth. He needs to advance that runner over to third base with a single. And that's a bad swing there by Hunter and Fro. He has really struggled this game. Here comes another pitch from Tommy Hunter. And he's too late on the curveball. Jesus. He is not having a good day at the plate other than that solo homer. And this might just solve the problem there as he advanced the runner up to second base and Hunter and Fro has his second hit of the day. And Russell Martin comes in with a chance to give the Blue Jays a lead. And he'll strike out. So look at that. That was a pretty prompt strike out there by Russell Martin. But Martin already has an RBI in this game so can't blame him too much. Here comes another pitch, and that'll be low. And Pablo Sandoval grounds out. And the Red Sox have taken a 3-2 lead here in the top half of the ninth. Oof, that's ugly, as they'll probably take in the second spot in the division. This one's high, and into the glove of Edwin Encarnacion. So a little bit of a rally is needed here. We'll take a look through as Rusny Castillo gets on. And then Dalton Pompey grounds. Oh, and then boom, the Blue Jays tie it in the bottom half of the ninth inning. And that is just fantastic for the Blue Jays. As we still have life here in the top half of the tenth. Coming up clutch, look to be errors all over the place, honestly, as there is a broken bat looper into the glove of Edwin Encarnacion. And Jose Reyes the board. And then Encarnacion. Can't get it done, so here we go. This sets up Hunter and Fro to maybe knock in Jose Reyes. And that sinker gets him going. Who is that? Pat Nishak? Joe Smith. Okay. Here we go. Joe Smith. You're not going to get away with this. Nope. Not looking for that. We're looking for that sinker down low. Come on. Keep an eye on Jose Reyes. Yeah, okay. Get a little bit distracted there. I don't care if you're a little distracted. Here we go. Oh, and the sinker just a little bit too early is Hunter and Fro. He could have did a little bit of damage there. Ground ball up the middle or something, maybe. And outside for ball number two of the at-bat. So and Fro working the count here. A little bit better from the bat than we've seen all day. And he strikes out looking on the fastball. Just ugly. We'll move along to the top half of the 11th where there's one out. For, you guessed it, the former man who per patrolled this outfield that Hunter and Fro is patrolling, Mr. Jose Bautista. And a quick throw in by Hunter and Fro. And a quick fielding opportunity there as Bautista's aboard. And that'll ground out into the double play. And Rusny Castillo comes up huge. As looks like we'll try and get out of that. The Blue Jays win it in the bottom of the 11th. So guys, I'd like to thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Toronto Blue Jays Franchise Mode. As always, please subscribe for more episodes. Leave a like on the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Guys, so long from Yacht City.